Good evening, everyone. I'm Arcus, and welcome back to the Final Fantasy VII uh, retrospective uh, comparison, slash comparison. I guess I could put both of them. I don't know. Uh, playthrough. Essentially. <laughs> we haven't gone as far as I thought we'd get, but uh, we'll see more of the game. We've been doing all the extra little bits and pieces, because it's quite a lot. At one point, we will get, like, Railroaded. We'll, we'll literally be streamlined. Uh, did I talk to you yet? Better go down below. Right, we're waiting to go down below. This is where I share the fan. Um, so there may be some bits I miss here and there, but uh, hopefully everything should be fine. Here we are down here. Let's start with our uh, discussions. This affects how he thinks of you. No, not too uptight. That's okay, don't worry about me. No, I can, I can, Heart. Oops! Here's the news, what a blast! It was all good from the bottom, really did was just make it like the computer told me. Oh no, I must have a miscalculation somewhere! Yeah. Immediately mobilized soldiers to protect us in the rear. It's a senseless violence. Get too close to Barrett, he immediately starts talking to us. Yo, Cloud, something I want to ask you. Is there anything soldier fighting us today? None, I'm positive. You sound pretty sure? If there's anyone from soldier, you wouldn't be standing there right now. Because uh, you're a soldier. <sighs> he just answered your question, that's all. Yeah, you're strong. Probably all them guys in Soldier are. Don't forget that your skinny ass is working for Avalanche right now. I got no ideas about hanging on to Shinra. Stay with Shinra? Ask me a question, I answered it, that's all. I'll go upstairs. I want to talk to you about my money. If you, talk, if you try to talk to him again... Shucks, money. Wait, Cloud! Leave it, let him go! Still misses the Shinra. Shut up! I don't care about Shinra or Soldier. Don't get me wrong, I don't care about Avalanche or the planet for that matter. Shucks, money. Okay, so he doesn't change his dialogue. Straighten things up with everyone. You're not gonna straighten things up with everyone. Yep. Money. Oh, there must have been a lot of it. Sure, what the hell? Verbal agreement? Let me figure this out. No, Cloud, did you hear me? I'm gonna just, like, go back. Damn it. <laughs> Still spotted me. Cloud, you say you don't care, but you came to talk to me. I just wanna be friends. Psh! Yeah, well, you look kinda lonely to me. You gonna get anything you wanna get off your chest, you always talk to me. I don't care. You're terrible. Real cold blooded. You get both dialogue options there. There you go. How much else in that area? Not too much to do, honestly. Uh, I don't think. Do you even go down there in a remake? I don't actually remember if you go down there in a remake. I'm trying to remember. I don't think you do, actually. I think they go have meetings and you just stay up top and uh, just play the machine. There's a dot board in here somewhere. There isn't the remake. Listen, Cloud, I'm asking, please join us. Nah. That's <laughs> dying. Someone has to do something. But Barrett and his buddies do something about it. Got nothing to do with me. You're really leaving? You're gonna walk out right out, ignoring your childhood friend? What? No matter what you do, she says basically the same thing. I don't remember which one changes her point score. In what way, or if they even do it all? How can you say that? We got the promise to. She says this exact same dialogue, no matter what. Promise? Did forget. 
It was seven years ago. How could you forget? It's only seven years. There's a lot of sevens in this game, I've noticed. Remember? So seven years ago, he made a promise. They're in Sector 7. Uh, there's probably more sevens in the game. You, you level up from level 6 to level 7 when you first start. <laughs> you never come. You never too cold. Is there seven characters? There might be seven characters. No, there's eight. <laughs> seven Sephiroth. No, wait. <laughs> we haven't gone to that storyline. Oh, there's... <laughs> Sorry I'm late. Although in the remake, he would have already made his appearance, like, multiple times. Big difference there. They even show this scene in the uh, remake? I don't think they do. Did you want to talk to me about something? Come to spring, I'm leaving town for Mika. All the boys leaving town. I'm different from them. I'm not just going to find a job. I want to join Soldier. You know, a, a, another job. <laughs> it would be the best there is, just like Sephiroth. Sephiroth? The great Sephiroth? Do it with these two arms! Pop. Isn't it hard to join Soldier? Probably won't be able to come back to this town for a while. A lot with the... With the PC make, uh, the PC version, they cleaned up a lot of the dialogue as well, like, a lot of the mistakes they made throughout the dialogue they've corrected, so we won't be seeing all those standard mistakes in the, in the original. Huh? We make it, will you be the newspapers? No, I mean, yes, I mean, maybe. Let's make a promise. If you get really famous and I'm ever in a bind, you'll come and save me, right? What? If I'm ever in trouble, my hero will come and rescue me. You experience that once, at least once. What? Come on, promise me. It seems like a bit of a forced promise. <laughs> Alright, I promise. I don't think he even knew what he was agreeing to. <laughs> at that point, I don't think he knew what he was agreeing to. <laughs> You remember now, don't you? A promise? I'm not a hero and I'm not famous. I can't keep our promise. You got a child dream, didn't you? You joined Soldier. You did. You joined Soldier. I don't know why I keep yawning. I, I haven't yawned all night and all of a sudden now I'm yawning. I don't know where it's come from. <laughs> it's worse timing. <laughs> so come on, you gotta keep your promise. Convenient timing. Wait a sec, big time soldier. It's weird how they fully capitalize the word soldier. As if it's meant to mean something different than being a soldier. <laughs> promise to promise, here. All of a sudden mentions promises again. Receive Barrett's stash, 1,500 kill. I think we made more from the enemies than that. I, what? My pay? Don't make me laugh. What then, you With the next mission lined up, do it to 3,000. What? It's okay, it's okay. Hurting for help, right? That money's for Marlin's calling. 2,000! Thanks, Cla- I did not agree to anything here. Wait. Hold on, what? I thought that's quite funny, like, she just says thanks, Cloud, and there's no reaction from Cloud at all about anything that happened just now. I don't think if 1,500 is a joke to him, then 2,000 ain't that much better. Ain't gonna be much better than that. Now look at like, oh no, I wanted to try and look at everything else, but okay. And can I? Can I go back down? Yes, I can. I can go back down. You can go back down anytime. Can I see if there's anything I can look at over here? Because I am actually curious. Yeah, this was blocked off for a reason, that was That was points. It also shifts Cloud back into position so he comes out on that section. 
And now Marlene's behind the bar instead of uh, Tifa. I don't know how Marlene can run a bar. Pretty sure she's not old enough. And she won't talk to us. Good morning, Cloud. You sleep well? Barrett's snoring kept me up. Down the hill, you bastard. We had you before it comes. Operation. Go this time. Alright. I think they're on a train. Cloud, for the next mission, I got something I want to ask you. And uh, I don't know how to use material. Yeah, the material we found. Just teach me how to use it. Alright. Normally I wouldn't go through this, but I want to show how this works. We're not being taught how to do, use the materia. Cloud is teaching Barrett how to use the materia, so we'll have him explain it. And it says in the bottom, it actively says tutorial, so this tells you how material works. But he's saying it to Barrett, not to you. He's not saying it to you, he's saying it to Barrett. I'll explain how materia works. Other basic functions. Press the menu to bring up the menu. And cursor and whatnot, the dialogue's going back through so fast I can't freaking not double click the menu I press ok you want to leave the menu press cancel go ahead now you're in this menu select the material sub menu select do you want to use it and look at your weapon each one has slots choose the slot you want to put the material in now select the material you want to use Store is all we have right now, apparently. This is curative materia. If you want to know what its effects are, find the cursor to check it with you. Check will tell you, push the OK button, and it will show you your materia. You can actually go through all of your materia. Uh, there's a lot of dialogue that I just accidentally skipped over. So the magic is increased, so it tells you that you got your thing now. You can now use your new magic, and that's all there is. And they kept it short and simple. You want to remove materia. Easy as point to the material slot and pushing the menu button. But would normally open your menu is the same button. There's one thing you have to be careful of. Whenever you equip materia, your situation changes. Your stats change. Parts of you may become stronger and other parts get weaker. So your strength goes down, but your magic goes up. HP goes down, but your max magic power goes up. Uh, oh, we already equipped material. Uh, okay. Your physical strength weakens. Yeah, double edged sword. Like I, like I was saying. But if you have, keep material equipped, you'll gain more AP. And AP is pretty good. Why is not to overuse magic? But yeah. Make sure to give everyone a various amount. Then you cancel the leave. And that's it. Pretty simple, every tutorial is like this, it's Cloud telling somebody else what to do. So technically it's you telling them how to, how to play. And again, they, they give you the option to skip it. And he goes like, I don't know it, I don't understand it still, you had the material Cloud. So then you get the material system, and this is the first time we can actually access material like that. Got a message from the weapon shop man upstairs, he something he wants to give you, don't forget. Finally he wants to store while we're gone. Alright. So, we have a full team now, and we can actually check everyone's materia. We have lightning, ice, and restore materia. And that is it. We want to actually stock up a bit. We actually do want to stock up a bit. I don't know if I've got enough money to stock up, so we'll see what we got. There's all this going on. Oh, and she goes in the house. Is it Johnny? I'm leaving, going far away. When I come back, I'm a better man. This is goodbye. The child of friend, take, better take good care of Tifa. Alright, in the remake, he's a lot more predominant, and he does a lot of things that cause a lot of trouble, and he will keep repeating, re re reappearing. To be fair, in this game, he also reappears a few times, but I never noticed. Because he wasn't that important. But it's very strange. He doesn't get hurt. That's where he's the most. Yesterday, when I was speaking to two of you from outside the bar, Chief of Child and his friend, that's a good one. I mean, not like we're putting on a show. I got no one to pick on, and then this is Johnny's house. Johnny's mom and dad. Huh. 
It was Hex when he was here, but now I miss him when he's gone. Yeah, I, I feel that. And if there isn't anyone to listen, what's the use of getting gossip by everyone? Yeah, and you missed it. I don't care. Let's get a little more information that'll pique your interest. You'll wait and see. Yeah, I did. Care, I listened to all of your information. Johnny's gone, but disappointed. Let's just say it was selfish. The only guy went on drinking. They got slightly different dialogues here because of that. It was down to a gutless, still no good kid. Okay? Alright. So there is actually a materia shop open now. Uh, he's not the guy from before. He's just... It's a slow day. Whoa! A customer! And the first thing you want to do, uh, since we have one of each material except for fire, we're going to get a fire. And then we're going to start selling items. Uh, we don't have anything to sell. We actually don't have anything to sell. So right now... Barrett didn't give us much money at all! Talk to this guy. Go in front of the second floor, teacher. Right here. And he has the same thing. Excuse me. Okay, and then this person sells you stuff. Alright, so there are iron bangles. We don't care about the extra slot because we haven't got enough material to fill the extra slot, but if we get three of those. We have one for each character. I wouldn't recommend going any higher than three. Oh yeah, and every time you equip something, it'll always shove you over onto the materia so you can equip, equip your materia. It's a little bit annoying, honestly. Not a big fan myself of that. But we can now equip materia. We can have Cloud equip everything if we really wanted to. I'm gonna have Cloud equip restore. And I'm going to leave him with lightning. I'm going to give Barrett fire and Tifa ice. Alright, we can go upstairs. There's actually a bit more upstairs we need to go sort out. We just need to go into this room. Very important. And uh, the save point jumps up there for us. What I'll do is talk to this guy. I'll grab the old material in front of him. That was material. Next, take this treasure chest. And we got an Ifrit. But that guy just gives us those two things. I'm pretty sure that's the guy we were supposed to talk to. The, the weapon shop guy. And this guy, the beginner's hall. Yeah, and then Cloud offers to give this guy advice. There's so much advice he gives. I'll let you decide to go through that yourself. There's a lot of information. And if you talk to these two over here, they'll show you some mechanics, but they won't actually say much about it. I think. Oh, here we go. We do this. Take care. Dress chest begins. Make sure to keep an eye out for me. Just bits of information. This is the uh, beginner hall. And then there's this. Help! But hang in there, Limit Gage is going to build. Hey, Limit Gage is full, go ahead and use it. Go the limit! Go ahead and blow this in color. And then just decimates him. What a limit break. He uses magic. Come down, we energy use magic cow with magic power or reflect. We have neither of those things, so I don't know why they're teaching us this early. Which stares by half and bounces the attacks off. The barrier reduces damage and reflect, reflects the magic back. I don't know if there's any more of those. Oh, you sure are strong. You're going to be strong too. Me too. When you get as strong as me, you need to use material. Find the best combination of them. Any type of material you put in your weapons and armor will determine how quickly your material grows. Material is the open slots, your weapons and armor, and the combination of well, I can tell you, if you want to be like me, you have to have some natural talent. I still don't get it. That's because you don't have natural talent. Talent. Keep going. Keep trying and you'll get the hang of it, basically. Or watch a tutorial of somebody else doing it. So you could just copycat. I mean, that works too. 
All right, so I fully equipped uh, Cloud's equipment uh, now. And I can't get past this kid. Okay, there we go. We are fully equipped and ready to head on out. However, there's one more thing we need to deal with. It's gonna cost me 750. I like to buy three restores because restore is extremely useful. We, however, only have enough for two. Unless we can sell something, which we may actually be able to do. Uh, but what I'll do is I'm going to not equip. I always hit the wrong one there. I'm going to give Tifa the one we bought, and then I will sell the other. You can sell anything to anyone, really, at this point. Uh, we're selling all three bronze bangles, and I don't like that I guess enough money. It does not. We can sell a potion or two. We need, how much do we need? 750. We can sell a phoenix down, that gets get us to a target. sell four potions. I want to make sure I always, yeah, I always have uh, a, a cure on everybody so that they can uh, utilize those. Like the rule I have, I guess. Everybody needs to be able to heal. The more healers, the better. All right, and that's everything here. We can move on from sector seven. There's nothing up top. And actually, there's uh, these guys again. Oh, no one is allowed to pass. Oh, he's gotten the hang of it. Okay, I got some tickets to Loveless. Do you want to go? Are you retarded? What are you... It's, it, it, it's, uh, it's own... It's old. Biggest under martial law now. Cloud, are you really concerned for me? Wait, Cloud said that? Oh no, in case you're gone, we're in the middle of a slump. Be anywhere around, just stay on your guard. Right, you mean the avalanche. Don't you worry, soldiers have been added to the police force. I don't think he's talking about it. I feel like they just ran, he put Cloud's name in there and they weren't supposed to. And there's these two. I've had it, me too. That was the first time I've ever agreed on something. Yes. Then shall we? Yes. I think he missed. I think they missed. Does they see you coming? They all go in? You can, of course, still go over here with your full team of three. Nothing changes. It's all the same. And uh, we can continue forward. All right. So, we're going to head on the train. We're heading out. We did our last minute preparations. We're on our way out. It's time for mission number two. Whoop whoop, all aboard the mission train. Literally. <laughs> Yo! A private car split up. Looms again. I just have all the luck. Say something? I said you say something! I just wanted to make sound aggressive. Now look, now look at that. It got empty all of a sudden. What's going on? Damn. It, it's empty because of guys like you. Oops. It's in the news, right? Avalanches, there'll be more bombings. To vote employers like me, you have to make your own day like this. You work for Shinra? I won't give it to violence. I'll let you go to violence. I don't know what he says. Eva. Barrett. God damn it. Just freaking every time. I do now. Now you're so calm, you're buffing up my room. Well, train got started. Looks like I just finished connecting the cars. We're finally leaving. What's our next target? Listen to Mr. Serious about his work. Alright, I'll tell you. 
This is probably what I told you, the security checkpoint up on top plate. It's an ID scan system checking all the trains. Chitter is very proud of. Can't use the fake IDs anymore. Good morning and welcome to Mid Carolines. Arrival time at Sector 4 station is 1, uh, 11.45. That means we've only got three more minutes until the ID checkpoint. Alright, in three minutes we're jumping off this train. Got it? Three minutes? Jeez. Short amount of time. Well, come over here. Let's look at the railway, railway map monitor. First, let's talk to this guy. No, he wants to talk to me at Country House. I'm impressed. Thanks, man. Yo, Mr. Know It All, big time soldier. You want to know the area? <coughs> You're in. <coughs> Sorry. You want to know the area around the 65 reactor, right? Here's. So let's hear your explanation. Oh. Okay. Don't worry about me. I'm oh, bad, I'm oh, bad. I'm gonna bring it while we're working about this. Alright, so a lot of the stuff uh, that we never got to do. There's a lot of stuff in the remake that you'd think would be in this, but there just isn't. Like, there's a whole section with Jesse and all that that just isn't in this. Uh. And uh, there's so much more like stuff that occurs in the slums and whatnot. Area that we just don't have here. It's, it's not that they skipped it all over it, they never thought of it back then. And it got added during the remake to flesh everything out, make it bigger, more bombastic. I think this uh, sound might be a little bit loud, so I'm gonna turn it down one second. Yeah, I have to click off so it turns the sound off. Alright. I said, turn down a bit. I think it was overpowering me a bit. So it looks like I've seen this already. A little closer. As soon as we get closer, though. Beer, beer, beer. That's odd. The only checkpoint was supposed to be further down. High pay security alert. Unidentified passengers confirmed. Search for all cars will be conducted. Now, do not panic. There's a few things you can do. And actually, there's enough time to get through a lot of stuff. Uh, you have to skip through some of this. Uh, I probably will skip some of the dialogue here and there because there is a slight issue with some of the dialogue taking too long. Uh, but I've got some major points, stuff you want to see, essentially, and we'll get to that. I've had five passes confirmed, so much four cars will be conducted. What's happening? What's going on? We're in trouble. Explain later. Get to the next car. Don't get to the next car. Someone blew it. I've had a few passages located in the car. I'm throwing flock down. Let's go. As soon as the timer starts, run to this guy. You talk to me even now? I'm really impressed. He's a little something as a reward. Phoenix down. Talk to that guy, Phoenix down. Doesn't matter about the other guy. We're going to leave him for now. Lockdown. An upgrade is a level 2 warning. Hurry. They're locking the door, sir. Now, uh, nobody else here is actually that important. Uh, I don't have to find passages preparing lockdown. Jesse, just run. Change the plan too. Alright, so you you don't really need to talk to anyone down here except for this guy at the end. Huh? The hell? You want this? Yeah. Won't even charge you. Don't get used to it though. It gives you a high potion. Yeah. Now here's the one where you've gotta think on your feet. If you take too long with this, you're either screwed. Or you'll just have to run on your screwed anyway, so you, yeah, you're screwed either way. Lockdown grain to water level three. Alright, we clear? Not yet, it's starting to check. We're caught, we're done for. Don't worry, we'll train car by car, we should get past it. Now you might be able, you might see this guy with the red hair is gonna start walking down. Actually, I think if you let him get further down before starting the timer. Uh I don't know what I did. I don't know what I did. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna. Ch I, I did not know I could do that. Uh, you're supposed to bump into him. He steals your money and starts running. Uh, he gets all the way down and you know, etc. So he gets all the way down there. You have to run back, catch him, get him to give you your money back, and then run down. It takes a bit of time. Heads while the time is running. Uh I somehow got him to walk far enough down that he didn't take my money. Which really confused me. 
because I was expecting to have to get my money back. <laughs> so I fully locked down. This is the front of the train. Can't really talk to anybody else here except for the main characters. Let's go. We're going to dive. I can see where I am. And the only person you can talk to is Tifa. Scary, huh? Too late for that now. Why'd you come along anyway? Because. Are you turn? Time for that. You can figure you can talk to. Ain't no time to waste. Do something. It's me, Jesse. How do I look, Cloud? Got a good shimmer uniform? Yeah. Look oh, great. Just like a man. Yeah, yeah, I'm so happy. I think. Not now. You're right, sorry. I don't know, I'm stopping to talk to everybody. Made up my mind. I'm gonna jump. Okay, if I go first, leader always stays to the end. Don't worry about me, just go. Don't get getting a spiky ass hurt. It's only the beginning of the mission. I know. Bye! care of the rest. Ah, God. By the way, those three at the front there were Biggs, Wedge, and Jesse. They were dressed up. They look normal. Good, so far everything's good as planned, except it's not. So you go down to get the Sector 5 reactor. Biggs, Wedge, and Jesse got everything ready for us, so move it. Reactor's just down this tunnel. Actually, I believe... If you fail at any part during any of the part train parts, I think they put you in a different section of the map uh, where the train would be. I'm not 100% sure on that. You'd have to check it yourself, but I think they actually do that. Uh, if anyone can correct me on that. But we're actually going to go down the track. Normally, you wouldn't need to, but uh, there is something we want to show at the bottom of the track. You don't need to do this at all or show any of this. I'm just... Uh, yeah, I'm just showing it for the sake of, um, showing it, right? It's going to take me a while to walk down here. Uh, if you fail at any earlier point, you'll have to walk all the way up here anyway, so. Not down, up. I'm going in the wrong direction. Because I want to show stuff up. And now you can see what the old material does as well. We get to see what the old material does. Once these guys are done with their, uh, att attack? Maybe? The fire does a lot of damage. Enough damage to knock one out. Ice does enough to knock one out. And lightning can knock them both out. Okay, we're good. So we're going to be running through quite a few creepy callies, and there's going to be some machines. I don't believe the section is in. Oh yeah, there is a section similar to this in the remake. Uh, but as I was saying on the on the tra in the train section, that uh, there is actually a bunch of stuff they cut out. Oh, I'm sorry, they added in that's not in the original. And I think they added it in just like I said to. to Fill in the gaps to make the game a bit more um, bigger. Make the game bigger for the, for the remake. And to flesh out the world, I guess. There's a lot more going on throughout that than there is in this. But this is more streamlined uh, because Midgar isn't the whole game, you know? And of course, lightning does enough. Plenty, actually. Probably didn't need the other two to cast at all, to be fair. We should save MP. We don't have as much as you might think. In fact, speaking of, we need a bit of health. And like I said before, you do not have to do this. This is completely unnecessary. And I'm only doing this to show it off. 
only M's five, they're gonna die to limit break. Ah, we got Tifa's first limit break too. Uh, she uses a slot machine. Uh, she does extra damage if you hit, yeah, but not as much damage if you hit hit. But they guarantee a hit. Uh, on future rolls, you will actually see that there is a miss option. Ah, here we are. All right, so you don't have to do this, but I'm going to show what happens if you walk into these security guards. So they become these guys. If you didn't fight them before, now's your chance to fight them. They are really dangerous in the re in the remake because they are just that good. Uh, they have a huge evasion in the remake. They don't have that here. And they're just like standard moves with an attack, essentially. Nice themed enemies, you know? Right. So you can activate those if you want to. It might help with your training if, you, if you're training up. It might not. Uh... Sorry, I switched my headphones over. So, now they find out you're attacking. If you... Now, that, this noise is, getting, is very annoying, and I apologize. It's a very annoying noise. Basically, their shirt security alarm. If you stay here, more guards will appear and attack you again. You'll get this option again. You stay here, again. Stay here, again. Stay here, again. Repeat ad infinitum. You're not supposed to come down this way. If you run, however... You leave the screen. And that's it. That's all that is. Uh, if you, That's basically going to stop you from going the other way. Give you a limited distance. And it'll also give you some enemies to fight if you really have to. And of course, we got to head back up again. It's actually times like this that make it a lot easier to uh, just talk about stuff, you know? Because I can just talk about what, what's going on throughout the rest of the game in these times where we just have to walk a large distance or whatnot. Or fight a lot of enemies. I repeat. So yeah, uh, there's a few places in the game where actually we find out um, information. And Cloud is always the person to tell the other people the information. Uh, so it's almost like you're telling the game or the characters in the game what to do rather than you being told by the game what to do. That's the way they phrase it sort of thing. So they do have actual tutorials as well as the opening tutorial which just lets you explore whatever. Uh, so the actual tutorials are the thing. And then of course there's all the other stuff. And of course you can skip over any of the tutorials they ask if you want to use. So there's that too. Uh, there, that whole section up, up uh, above the, above the weapon shop, actually shows you, tells you pretty much everything you need to know to play the game properly, or to know how to play the game. If you really want to go for the dialogue, if not, you can just figure it out yourself. Maybe look at the tutorial or whatnot. And here we are. We're here at the sensors. I believe if we had just gone up from where we were, we probably would have been straight to here. So they wasted a lot of time doing that, unfortunately. I've been shinra security sensors. We can't go any further. We can go down here though. It's one time, tiny hole. <laughs> Telling me to squeeze into that to get under the plate. No way. Yo, Club, what are we going to do? Uh, if you look inside, you will see that there's nothing to get them stuck in the duct. But they won't be able to come back because there's nothing to get them stuck in the duct. There's nowhere they can climb up. Don't be wasting time. Let's just go. Damn, yeah, man, that thing gives me the chills. We have to go. It's like the only place we can go. And there are enemies down here as well, so we will be finding some more enemies. We are going to run low on that. It is interesting how early game ethers are like handed out. Yeah, later on in the game, you'll find we have a just please. There's a lack of ethers unless you buy them in shops. Those things. 
Something that can be very valuable later on, I guess. Alright, now a bunch of the avalanche characters are hidden around here. Uh, bit by bit. We're gonna bolt all these guys, and then we're gonna ice the ones in the back. And we'll fire the ones in the back. See how much extra damage we can do. Uh, as you can see, that did not kill them. It's killed everything else so far. It just hasn't killed them. Wait, I thought I did a standard attack with you. Oh no, I did your flame thing. But magic is a bit overpowered right now. That is why we are using up all our magic. It is extremely overpowered right now. Ah, oh, this way. The reactor's up the ladder. Alright. Uh... Yeah, I think that is actually the quickest way up. So he just tells you the reactor's up the ladder. You go up and... I don't think it's his phone thing. And Jesse's here. Very important. Grab that potion. And she immediately apologizes. I'm sorry. The ID scan problem on the train was all my fault. I modified your ID card and that's what did it. I did my best, but I failed. It was her fault. Next time I'll give you something better. The problem was you tried to make something better. I'll be back at the hideout. I'm first working on it. I thought she leaves. Uh, she will leave after the section. Oh, if you go the other way, that'll just put you... Okay. Um... My bad. Right, if you go out that top way, uh, you go for a vent and you go down that bigger ladder that I skipped over. Yeah, it's just a circular route to get back to there. There isn't anything important over there. It's just a thing. Alright, so now I've mentioned it, it's through this vent. And it leads to a vent up top, which takes you down the giant ladder. There's nothing else around there, so there isn't really any point going that way. That's why I went the other way, it's much quicker. And easier. Alright, and there is a save point here, however we will talk to you. We're gonna pull out now, we'll meet, meet at the hideout. Cloud will count on you to blow up the reactor. It did change a lot of the Avalanche characters, like, personalities. And we do have a save here, so we're going to end this episode off at the save point. Actually climactic, but uh, here we are. So, yeah, we're going to leave this episode off here, and we'll be going into the actual reactor. Uh, in the remake, they actually uh, had a whole section before the reactor uh, to do with going over the top of the or underneath the plate and whatnot, but uh, we'll get to that. We'll, 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 get to, we'll get to that. Anyway, thanks everyone so much for watching. But for now, we're done here. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!